We want to know if our employees are sending files, email attachment with confidential or secret information on it. How do we do that? Well, it's very easy in Curator to set up an offense that fires when someone sends an email with uh, an attachment. So let's click on that offense in there. So we know that you know this email address, I don't know who's behind it, uh, actually sent an email we do an attachment to a mail server that is external to our company. But now we have Forensic, so let's see what other things we can do. If we right click on that address, now we can select this option which is Run Forensic Recovery. We're going to call this case Data Loss, uh, Document Loss.pickup. Those are the starting and ending dates and times, so we click OK. And now if we go to this new tab in Curator, the Forensic tab, what we see here when we click on this uh, triangle, we see that we actually, uh, it, a query is going to be made to the appliances who actually did the full data capture for everything that went into the, into the network. It's going to index not only the metadata, but also the actual payload so you see res uh, response time on the searches we're going to be doing that are incredibly fast because everything is indexed contrary to other tools that you know take forever to produce results so let's click right away into the magnifying glass and here are all the 19,000 plus uh, documents uh, related to that IP address but it's going to be hard for us to find that I mean, we want to zoom in into just what is uh, if any any thing that this uh, uh, IP address did has uh, is related with the word confidential or secret so we are we are going to search in a subset and, and if you want to make more complex queries there is a query builder right there that can help you uh, with that but this uh, let's click on on that and we get a subset and look at that we get email attachments and you know let's look at this one Microsoft Word document let's look at this item number four well we see that a, an email was sent and uh, you see it has the word top secret in it let's look at the attributes the metadata look at this richness everything that is in blue here you can click and keep on searching uh, headers the, the, the hash of the file if I for example want to see where else the copy of this file has been going into the network I can actually just click in there and I will get that so very I can pivot on any one of these data and perform uh, searches on that but let, let's first uh, take a look at the document that was actually sent if I click in here I get my uh, pages viewer on the Mac complaining about some fonts that's irrelevant but we see the actual document that was actually sent in there that's not that's not uh, good we found something that is secret that went out but we still do not know who that individual actually is but what we can do is go back to those attributes and actually see who he has been related to so we click on it and we're gonna get the relationship just like a detective goes and find who's been talking to who who last spoke with who what has actually been uh, said you click on it and you get you know MAC addresses well this is not very useful IP addresses mm, not either what hosts that were visited not really social security certificates chat ID well this can actually give me something this uh, let's look at this first uh, ID Sean Q forensic and let's do the same let's click on it and look for who has this you know Sean forensic been relating to and see if we can get an email address or something uh, so if we could scroll back up uh, well there's a subset of these you know again chat ID IP address well here is an email address huh now we can you know zoom in into this uh, specific what is it this email address has been doing so we are not going to click on the relationship but actually on the actual uh, email address and Q forensic and if we see here we get a bunch of uh, chat oh well that's what was expected let's let's click on the first of those chats and here's the content of that chat look at that uh, Sean forensic uh, Oh, there are three more files that the guy actually has been sending. Well, this is pretty incriminating. So we, we have pretty good evidence that the, that that person has been doing something that is not correct. 
we can actually even go back to those attributes and, and you know, do more searches on what is it that this uh, th this individual is actually been uh, been doing. So if we click on on that uh, on all the things that that uh, person was doing, we see all the things, all the things that he clicked: uh, voice over IP, emails, everything that's been saying. For example, let's look at this one: get credit card numbers. Well, what is this guy doing? Let's click on that incident. And notice that it turns. Uh, red meaning that you visited that record and he was generating credit card from visa so you see when somebody does one thing bad chances are that he's doing all the things that are bad and all this was very easy to be found with the new uh, forensic tool in Curator.